Welcome back everyone, my name is Vedram and this is where we do advanced time series analysis, deep forecasting. Hi everyone, it's been a while, so hope you're all doing great. I am thrilled to be back and ready to launch a new course during summer 2024. So it's going to be all about advanced time series analysis. I call it deep forecasting and this is a course that I think is really going to boost your resume for industry gigs. We will dive uh, into everything from classical econometric models to machine learning and deep learning. And a lot of my students have told me that how this course has really ramped up their skills and got them ready to tackle real world challenges. So let's get ready and explore some seemingly complex but exciting topics together. As always, I'm here to demystify these topics for you. So here are the topics. Okay, so we're gonna do it in eight modules. In the first couple of modules, we start with time series basics and how to set up your Python environment. In module three and four, we cover some uh, econometrics models, including ETS and ARIMA models. In module five, we will review machine learning concepts and its challenges for time series analysis. And module six and seven, we cover deep neural networks and sequence modeling, you know, namely RNN and LSTM. And finally, in module eight, I will be talking about the Facebook profit model, which is a time series forecasting method designed for you know, business time series. Uh, just remember, in each, uh, let's say, module, we don't cover, we don't talk about all the, for example, all the classical models or all the machine learnings or deep learning models. I will specifically cover the ones that work in practice for time series analysis and have a good track record in the winning time series competitions in Kaggle or M series competitions. Uh, for example, when it comes to machine learning, you know, I will provide you the tools and platforms to basically apply any kind of machine learning model to your time series analysis, but specifically I will cover the ones, again, that works in practice, in, namely you know, random forest and boosting techniques. And uh, also for deep learning, we will not go over the details about, for example, transformers models, because as of 2024, we still do not have enough evidence to suggest that you know, transformers offer significant benefit considering their implementation costs. So maybe one day, you know, when we get there, I will talk about those models as well. Okay, now at a very high level, let's see what we cover in each of these modules. Module number one, demystifying time series data and modeling. So in this module, I will cover time series basics, talk about modeling, and discuss the forecasting strategies, right? So for example, we're gonna say, what is a sequence data? What is a time series task? You know, some basic concepts like trends, seasonality, stationarity, and things like this. When it comes to forecasting strategies, we're gonna see, okay, are we talking about one step ahead forecast or multi-step ahead forecast? Or are we doing multi-output forecasts at the same time or not, right? Is it a univariate time series or multivariate time series? What are different benchmarks, right? Because this is really important. Imagine you're doing a time series analysis, you know, you have a model, but if that model cannot outperform the simple benchmark, then basically you have nothing. And this is very relevant when it comes to stock price. So the thing is that at the end of this module, I will, you should be able to clearly answer this question that can we beat the Wall Street? The answer is, it depends. Are you a retail investor or institutional investor? What are your resources? For example, do you have access to alternative data? What is your compute power? What is your forecasting time horizon? Are we talking about you know, short term, medium term, long term? So what are we talking about? Is it daily, higher frequency? What is it, right? And the point is that even if we are able to outbid a naive forecaster when it comes to stock price prediction, which by the way, we will, the thing is that how can you create a trading strategy on top of that, you know, let's say, winning time series forecasting model? That's a whole different game. And that's probably a topic for another course. So in this course, we're not going to talk about you know, trading strategies. We're going to talk about time series forecasting models. And you will be able to outperform a random walk or a simple naive forecaster when it comes to stock price prediction. But the goal is, the job is not to make money out of that model because let's say you have a winning model, but depending on how you create, how you design your trading strategy for that model, you will see if you can make money or not, right? But this course, please keep it separate from a trading course. This course, we're going to all talk about time series forecasting. 
in module two, we are going to set up our deep forecasting environment. You know, basically in this course, I'm going to use Python and we will cover some different Python packages for different tasks that we have. For example, for econometric part of the course, we're going to stick to our stats model package and PyCarrot. For machine learning, we are going to do basic machine learning from scratch using scikit-learn, and then we're going to do the automated version with PyCarrot. For Facebook Profit, we're going to use Profit Package, and for the deep learning section of the course, we're going to use Keras. Then in part two of module two, we're going to do some basic time series operations in Python. So my understanding is that you have a basic background in Python, and but you have not done anything time series related in Python. So this is where we're going to cover those things in a separate notebook. Then in module three, we talk about the exponential smoothing method. So these methods were proposed back in late 1950s and 60s, and since then it has motivated some of the most successful forecasting methods, especially when it comes to well-behaved time series. And by well-behaved, I mean the time series that has clear trend and seasonalities and things like that. Then in module four, this is absolutely my favorite model for structured univariate time series forecasting. ARIMA stands for Autoregressive Integrated Moving Averages, and we're going to talk about all the components of this model and how we implement it in Python. In Module 5, we're going to talk about basically the fundamental concepts of machine learning, and these concepts are going to serve as a foundation for our deep learning section of the course. So I assume that you have taken machine learning course before, and now here, here's a quick review for you, and I'll talk about time series challenges for machine learnings in part two of module five. This is where we're going to talk about all the details of time series challenges when it comes to machine learning modeling, especially, for example, time series cross-validation or time series bootstrapping. We cannot use the default cross-validation or bootstrapping from, for example, scikit-learn package. So there are some nuances that I'm going to talk about them in this part of module five. Then in module six, we're going to talk about, you know, deep neural networks and how we can use them specifically for time series forecasting. I assume that you have seen machine learning and deep learning models before, but probably you have not applied them to a univariate time series forecasting. So the idea is that we need to transform data and prepare it for you know, machine learning and deep learning modeling. So I'm going to talk about those details in this module. In module seven, we're going to talk about deep sequence modeling, and we'll explain why a simple neural network is not enough, or uh, frankly speaking, why even a CNN, convolutional neural network for time series, is not enough to handle time series nuances and challenges for the long term. So in this module, we're going to cover RNN, recurrent neural network, and LSTM, no long short term memory, uh, as an example. And then finally, in module eight, we'll explore the Profit Package, which is a robust forecasting tool from Facebook, and it's designed from business time series challenges. And uh, we're going to read the forecasting at a scale paper together and talk about all the details and we'll see how this model is able to handle holiday, holidays, complex seasonalities, and then maybe, you know, different trends with growth constraint, constraints and better compared to other classical models. All right. Again, this was at a very high level what you're expecting to see in this course. So I'm super excited about it, and hopefully you are ready for this course as well. All right, and finally, if you're curious where you can find the materials, feel free to go ahead and uh, follow me on GitHub, and uh, the, just type my first and last name, GitHub. This is the username, PJ Algo Trader, and these are all the my publicly available repositories on the GitHub. So this is a repository for the course, Deep Forecasting and all the slides and notebooks for the eight modules are already there so you can go ahead and download them you know and uh, i will going to release the videos the lecture videos throughout the summer yeah this is the youtube channel and again my first name and last name and then feel free to follow me on twitter as well uh, this is where i'm going to probably after each module when i create the videos i'm going to do a one page uh, summary of each of each module or you know share relevant stuff when it comes to time series analysis in general all right so uh, hope you're excited as well i'm going to see you in the course